Diwali, often referred to as the Festival of Lights, stands as one of India's most cherished and widely celebrated festivals, with a growing presence across the world. Yet, what is the historical backdrop of Diwali, and why is it celebrated with such fervor? The most renowned cause for Diwali's jubilation revolves around the return of Lord Rama to Ayodhya after enduring a 14-year exile. However, this is merely one facet of the story, as we shall delve into other factors that give rise to the exuberant celebrations of Diwali. The name Diwali itself encapsulates the essence of this festival, which signifies a series of lights and is consequently known as the Festival of Lights. In Sanskrit, it is referred to as Deepawali. During Lord Rama's 14-year exile, the demon king Ravana, disguised as a sage, cunningly abducted Sita Mata, Rama's wife. Upon learning of this deceit, Lord Rama waged a war against Ravana, leading to a monumental battle in the epic of the Ramayana. The triumph of Lord Rama in this epic battle symbolizes the victory of good over evil. When the people of Ayodhya received the news of Lord Rama's return after his long exile, they adorned the city with oil lamps, dias, flowers, and rangolis, giving rise to the festival's moniker, the Festival of Lights. Diwali also holds a close association with the veneration of Goddess Lakshmi, the deity of wealth and prosperity, and the consort of Lord Vishnu. The five-day Diwali festival commences with the day of Goddess Lakshmi's birth, believed to have occurred during the churning of the cosmic ocean, Kshir Sagar, by the Devas and the Asuras. It was on Diwali night that Lakshmi chose Lord Vishnu as her husband, marking their sacred union. According to the Mahabharata, people celebrate Diwali to commemorate the return of the Pandavas, along with their wife Draupadi and mother Kunti, to Hastinapur after completing their exile. This tradition of illuminating the entire city with earth and lamps in honor of their return has been preserved through the celebration of Diwali. On Diwali, it is believed that Lord Vishnu, in his Vamana avatar, vanquished King Bali and confined him to the netherworld. King Bali, despite being a demon, was known for his benevolence, which earned him a boon from Lord Vishnu to return to Earth once a year to illuminate the world with lamps. This annual return of King Bali is celebrated as Bali Pratipada, adding another layer of significance to Diwali. A legendary tale recounts the defeat of Narakasura, the son of Budevi, Mother Earth, and the Varaya incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Narkshur had a boon that he will be powerful and live a long life. Narakasura has defeated all the kings on the earth. Even Indra was forced to flee Swarga. Devas asked help from Lord Vishnu. The reign of terror, which included the abduction of 16,000 women came to an end when Krishna, with the assistance of Satyabhama, an incarnation of Budevi, defeated him. Before his demise, Narakasura requested that the day of his death be celebrated with colorful lights, leading to the observance of Kodi Diwali, or Naraka Chaturdashi, the day before Diwali. In regions like West Bengal and Odisha, Diwali takes on a distinct form known as Kali Puja. This tradition centers around the worship of Goddess Kali, born from the forehead of Goddess Durga. Kali a symbol of female power, emerged to counter the growing cruelty of demons. After vanquishing the demons, Kali lost her control and started killing anyone who came her way which stopped only when Lord Shiva intervened. The well-known picture of Ma Kali, with her tongue hanging out, actually depicts the moment when she steps on the Lord and repents. Since then this significant day has been celebrated to seek the help of the goddess in destroying evil both external and internal to us as also to get her blessings for general happiness, health, wealth, and peace. For Jains, Diwali marks the attainment of Nirvana or Moksha, Enlightenment, by Bardham Mana Mahavira, the 24th and final Tirthankara. Diwali is not merely a festival of colorful lights and grandeur, but a symbol of profound spiritual significance. 
It represents the victory of light over darkness, good over evil, and knowledge over ignorance. It stands as a beacon of hope amidst despair, with the darkest night, the new moon, symbolizing the nadir of despair. In this darkness, we illuminate our homes and, by extension, our lives with candles and dias, signifying the triumph of inner light, represented by Lord Rama, over spiritual darkness, embodied by Ravana. Ravana, despite being a devout worshipper of Lord Shiva and a scholarly figure, was ultimately defeated by Rama when his ego eclipsed his wisdom. Diabali, thus, serves as a profound reminder of the enduring human spirit, ever resilient in the face of adversity, and the eternal quest for light, goodness, and wisdom.